What's wrong? Nothing. Oh, come on. We're gonna be graduating soon. We all know graduating plus partying equals Brooke Davis minus her clothes. But we're not all graduating. We should be here. Unless... Unless, maybe... Somehow you're mistaken. No chance. I know what you did. And you know what you did. And maybe you'll never pay for it, but I promise you... My mom's gonna know it too. Keith. Until you took him from us. Davis, a bit early for graduation, aren't you? I'm the one who stole the calculus exam. popular in dating seniors, but as a person, I was pretty lost. Somewhere along the way, the lost little party girl became the girl on the wall of honor. And I know what I did was wrong, Mr. Turner, I know. But the girl I was when I came to the school, I'm not so sure she would have. I imagine you've been feeling a good amount of guilt over letting your friend take the fall. Yes, sir. I mean, even though she told me to, and she's... Yes, I, I have, so that's why I felt that I should come forward. Good. Go graduate. Really? Are you serious? Uh, thank you. I we can uh, try and keep them comfortable at this point, but I give them a couple of weeks at most, maybe a month. No, no, there's, there's got to be something. You can do some kind of treatment. We can't work miracles. I really am sorry. Excuse me, everybody. Uh, this will only take a minute. Such a wonderful heat, masking beauty. This yearbook belongs to Jimmy Edwards. Now, everyone knows his name, but some of you actually knew Jimmy before that day. Maybe you sat with him at lunch. Maybe you went to grade school together. I'm gonna die. You can't stop it. If you knew Jimmy, even for a short time, then you probably have some good memories of him. And I hope you'll consider writing him down in this yearbook. I know how far got so sad that I I bought a car, yes, I'll come get you and I will. Lucas, I know how you feel about Jimmy, but it's the right thing to do. I know it is. Me down, he said he was incomplete. Okay. He thinks that true love's gonna get him back on his feet. He said you're yeah, on the final love. Once in your life, so I guess when you find it. Makes no sense cause there's no sense in it at all. So I guess it's over, huh? As far as I know, basketball's never over and you put down the ball and walk off the court. You know what I mean, coach? No, Nathan, I don't think I do. What the heck have I been teaching you all these years? When somebody says you can't do something, you fight back, you prove them wrong. 
They don't want me anymore. Then find somebody who does. Nathan, where is the fire that made you the best player I ever coached? Show me it's still there. If it's not, put down that ball and walk off the court. She told me love will come once in your life, so I guess when you find it, People love a guy who rises from the ashes. Remember. What's her name? Whatever it is, Mr. Scott, it'll have to wait. I'm very busy. This won't take long, I promise. This wasn't an easy decision, Nathan. But you made it. And now the best student, the best person in this school can't give a speech. You all make mistakes. And believe me, I'm paying for mine, but Haley's a good person. And she's worked for four years to be valedictorian. And she deserves to be recognized. What the hell are you doing here? I checked myself out. Are you crazy? Uh, I'm not gonna die in a hospital when the nurses aren't even hot. One of Dad's friends, Joshua, he called me back. Told me about a guy in Nebraska. A specialist. You're not gonna let me die in peace, are you? I'm not gonna let you die, period. Let's go eat something really bad for us and pig out. That sounds great, but I'm guessing you're gonna be a little busy tonight. <laughs> doing what? What is this? Graduation program? Tree Hill High School. Graduation. Valedictory address, Haley James. Turner changed his mind. Are you for real? Oh, come here. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, my God. I have to go start writing my speech. Uh, you got a lot of work to do. I'll grab us some need, okay? Something really bad for us. Oh, no. I'm going to be speaking in front of a thousand people on Saturday. Plus, I'm pregnant. I need healthy food. Mwah, healthy. <laughs> Evil's out there. How can you not believe good's out there, too? Because I've seen what evil does to good people. Brooke Davis. Well, no disrespect. Not exactly a believer. You will be, son. You will be. Pray with me, Fran. So oh.